732 to talk to us about Meritorious Advancement Program. Thank you, Captain Kathy. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you. One little more. Can you hear me in the back? Great. Thank you very much. Okay, my name is Angela Ketson. I am your uh, enlisted plans and policy officer. And I work for you. And, and you're going to see how that, uh, how that pans out now. I want to let you know, though, that um, not long ago, maybe long ago, because I see if you referenced that, that Nova Navy back then, I was one of those older sailors. I am one of those older sailors. And I was an undesignated seaman. Now we call those pack sailors. Are there pack sailors in the room? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I know back then I was motivated by opportunity, recognition, and advancement. And so I think that probably still holds true for a lot of us today, right? That's motivating. Well, today I bring the Meritorious Advancement Program. Well, this is what I'm going to talk to you about. By show of hands, if you're willing to share, are there any sailors here who have been mapped? All right. Congratulations. Good job. Have any of you who contributed or helped sailors by being a command triad? help sailors be mapped. Great, thank you. I know I have a lot more work to do, so I'm excited. Job security. I guess I have to Great. Okay, so what is MAP? It's a talent management tool. It's a tool that has been afforded and given to, to CEOs and command triads to recognize sailors that are high performers. Okay, that's just the bottom line. It's to, it's to, to get that sales performing out there so that we can do exactly what CMP talked about. Getting to the, to the as we're growing this Navy, getting the right sailors to the Navy the nation needs. Okay, it's about fit, sustainability, and readiness. And we do that by having sailors who are high performers, and, we, and now we have a mechanism using MAP. And I'll talk about the timeline in a few minutes. Uh, where that is in the, in, the, in the year, but it's that's what it is. It's, it's our ability to recognize on the spot, advance you today if you need to, okay? And it's what we must do. If we want to continue to be competitive and continue to be an employer of choice, we have to be able to keep and retain that talent. That's the why we do it. We retain talent, we empower CEOs, we recognize and, uh, and reward high performance. So who's eligible for MAP? All E5 and below. And I'm pretty excited about that because this year, we did a few more, we stretched the pool of eligibility out, and I'll uh, expand on, on that a little bit. But anybody who's an E5 and below is eligible. And it is a quota-based because we are and that's just an additional opportunity for advancement. So the NWAE, the NWAE in two cycles allows us to advance sailors, and right now, what you in between that is the map season. So it's just an additional opportunity to advance sailors. So we are in our fourth year of advancement of the map. We started in 2015, and we have been expanding ever since. We've started to expand the opportunity of who can be advanced, as well as um, the percentage. Now, we, were, we initially started back in 15 with just those at sea. We, we kept walking and we kept listening and learning from the fleet, and the fleet input and the fleet feedback. We expanded it to some shore, and now it is across all commands in our Navy. Small and large, CONUS, O CONUS, you name it. Map is available. And you can see that we've also expanded it. We started out with only 5% of total advancements via map to what it was in 2018, 15%. And now we're going to go ahead and move uh, into FY19 with more of a percentage. And I don't want to get ahead of myself because I haven't finished pre briefing my boss where we recommend going as a Navy. But it is exciting because we are going to continue to build on, on the ability to map. Now, I do want to look at point here. So you look on the bottom here, these are the percentages of map. And I told you before that we had 
expanded, Yale's really cool, that E5 and below. This year we did something pretty neat where we were allowing anybody who was E1 to be mapped E2, E2 to E3, E3 to E4. Now that might not seem like a lot, but when you can kind of chop somebody's nine months and make them ready for the next for their exam, next cycle, that's pretty exciting and motivating. And again, we saw some positive results. We saw for the first time that E2s were meritoriously advanced to E3. So we have some folks that are getting ready to make the E4 and step up to the, to the leadership positions and put them on the front that much quicker. So that was pretty exciting. And again, I get ahead of free from my boss. We have some good results. So we're really positioned well to go into FY19. Another thing that uh, this cycle allowed us to do that uh, we want people to take advantage of is that as folks get, they take the exams and they pass the exams and they're advanced and they're fraught, SEALs have the ability and we're given the ability and power to take and map that sailor if they deemed it necessary or, or proven to do so at that time. So you could be a fraught sailor and be mapped and that would be an immediate pay. Now that is pretty exciting. So that's what we're seeing as when I talk about expanding and uh, leaning forward, that's exactly what we're doing. And we saw some of that happen in FY18. Now, we're going into 19. And so how this works is we take, and we take, uh, and, I don't, and I do this in the office in DC, but I don't do it alone. I do it with close to 150 uh, members of the working group, which comprise of senior enlisted advisors, national chiefs, across the entire Navy, and we get feedback. And we talk about how we can expand this program and, and what lessons we learned. So part one, what lessons did we learn? What were the good, the bad, and the ugly for FY18? So we can you know, use that to help you shape plans and policy. And then, where do we go with 19, and how do we expand? What does that look like? So we are leaning forward. Again, the vision right now is that to get to at least 25% map, I would dare to say that we're probably positioned to go even further as we start to get towards this marketplace and telling, telling you about that. Okay, so it is a great opportunity to, uh, and a great time to be in our Navy today as we're growing. So there we have 25% is our, is our vision for now. Again, based on quick feedback and tolerance, um, it can go further. And it'd be very excited to do so. So, uh, uh, here's my timeline. This is what happens up until now, up until 18. We have, we start wrapping up in April, start talking about, uh, you know, what it's going to look like. Again, that's what we're positioning ourselves for right now. We have the exam cycle happen in March. And as that's going on, we start, we start getting into the July, when we open up the season for MAP, CEOs are ready. And I can tell you, they're ready to put up, right to July 1st, start putting some letters across the board, across the bow, on who they want to MAP right then and there. So they start, our MAP season starts July 1st, ends August 31st. And during those two months, a flurry of letters are coming into the, to the Bureau for us to map the person. We find you eligible, everything aligns, and right away you're mapped. Okay? As that's going on, remember, we're also studying, get ready for the September exam, and during that, that same time frame, people are still being mapped. Okay, so a lot of this is, so it's an opportunity almost continuous throughout the year, if you will. And I think that's what it's going to start looking like. But uh, expansion, expanding even more. Now, this redistribution period is kind of neat. I don't think it's not. Okay, it's not working. Really September is redistribution month. And what I have seen in some of these uh, past cycles is that SEALs have to do one of three things. They either right away use up their quotas because they know, they've seen those high performance, they, they're excited about advancing you right then and there. And we get a flurry of those letters right off the bat. So the seals that, that get quotas use them right away. That's that's mostly what happens. The other thing that happens though is that a lot of CEOs, when I say CEOs, I'm talking about command triad working together. And the CEOs, some of them return quotas. They won't advance somebody because they didn't find just because.
that they received 10 quarters, they didn't have to lose them, so we get them back in the bank. And then I focus up that green distribution season, and I have a lot of CEOs standing in the queue saying, I need more. I have more sailors who I want to advance. And so we're able to redistribute during that, the month of September and allocate more. And so that it, it's just a, always a buy for, you know, hey, we need more, or hey, I, I didn't need them. But that's great. That's part of the part of the beauty of, of that. So we'll see uh, what FY19 looks like as we move forward. There's, you know, there's again, the sky's the limit. See if these give us a lot of liberty and move out and be very aggressive in this, and that's what we're doing as a fleet. So I do appreciate the feedback, and please continue to keep sending it in. And that's how we keep getting better as a name. Okay, just this is my last slide, this wrap up slide. Again, it is a terrific program. Um, again, we saw by show of hands, a lot of folks have benefited from it. It is eligible, pool is uh, E5 and below, but it is always based on sustained superior performance. Because again, it's a talent management tool that we need to continue to use to better our Navy collectively. And as we grow to a 300 e year Navy, um, that's the we're going to get there is the top talent, and we continue to be that employer of choice. Now, uh, I know we don't have any time for questions, but I will, I will be here all day and be glad to answer your questions. But if, in the meantime, if you do have questions and you don't think about them today, please use the, uh, there it is, the uh, email. The email comes right to us. We'll be glad to field your questions. Uh, in a portion chain and you can help answer some of your questions about math. But, um, you know, it's disheartening when, I, when we hear some of these fleet engagement trips that folks might say, um, I'm not, I, I didn't get mapped, I, I, there's no opportunity for me, or I'm in a small command and I, I can't get there. Um, it, is, it is available to everybody. You do have the opportunity to try to make it even grow some more. So please stay tuned to see some of those changes. And, um, Provide us with feedback so we can make it 